warm welcome to you all. Our guest tonight is Jean-Laurent David. He is a fitness trainer and sports nutritionist. Tonight he's going to share with us more about why fitness should become an important aspect in our everyday lives. Jean-Laurent David, thank you so much for joining us in the studio of the NBC. Thank you for having me. It's a great pleasure to be here and uh, share with all of you my, my fitness knowledge and uh, everything about the, the pas my, my passion regarding exercising and nutrition. Uh, I am a fitness trainer, as you said, a sports nutritionist. It has been since 2011. I did my studies in France. I am now 30 years old, uh, still, st still young and uh, still passionate about everything I do. My, my, my fitness uh, knowledge has improved throughout the years I've changed I've changed the way I've worked uh, with the, my clients and everything and I've, I, I really find this this job like uh, uh, something very fulfilling for me mm -hmm. and uh, yes tonight we're gonna discuss more about uh, about what I about do. About your fitness journey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Laurent the age old saying that a healthy mind lives in a healthy body is extremely crucial for us today the rat race to be successful and the hectic routine of people have degraded their fitness but the fact remains that staying fit should actually be the most important thing in our life in order to function effectively we need optimal physical health i mean staying fit allows us to be in shape keeps our head clear for any challenges that might come in our way you are a fitness coach. How did you develop this in strong interest in fitness? Well, I've come from a multidisciplinary sports background. Uh, mm -hmm. like fitness and exercising, sports, pra sports practice has been part of my, of my life since my childhood. I've, I've done many competitions in football, tennis. I've played for the national team, cycling, running, and of course, uh, develop a strong interest in fitness and uh, training people and making them become better versions of, of themselves okay. and improve their, their health. I find it a great purpose for me to actually help people this way, uh, especially when they come to you and they don't know what to do or they've been suffering from uh, a lot of mental issues, depression. And uh, yes, so at, at the beginning, it was more on a competitive sports side. It was very personal. And, and then I've switched my scope of work and to more training myself, but also helping others and also training people. That's why uh, I've, I've, I've went abroad to, to perfect my skills in training, how to eat properly, maintain a healthy lifestyle. And that is it. Yes. Have you also taken part in sports competition? Yes, many, many. Uh, yeah, I was. I'm a very competitive person. Okay. I, I, I always raise the bar for myself because uh, I always want to 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 see until, like, what my, my what my my body can do. And this mindset of I've tried to uh, inspire other people, my clients, to always give their best. It's not always easy. It's not always about uh, going 100% every yes. time for each training session. But it's about being consistent and and having fun in what you do, we have we all have different goals uh, about health and fitness. You don't have to be a fitness model, mm -hmm. but as long as you're staying healthy, especially with the current situation with the pandemic, it is very important to to make your health a priority. Um, eat properly, take your vitamins, um, and, and exercise daily, like you brush your teeth every morning. You have to make time for 30 minutes, 45 minutes of uh, daily exercising, whatever, whatever you like doing. It's also good to push your limits when it comes to fitness, right? Yes, yes. It, this is the, the nice part and the hardest part also. But it, it comes with time because you, you have to have the mental fortitude and, and the, the strength also to, to every time want to push your limits yes. uh, into more high intensity training. Uh, but it, it gets addictive because you, you, you see that your body responds and you're getting stronger and more endurance. You develop more endurance and uh, you, you actually become better. So you want to, every time, you, your goals always improve. 
Yes, of course. You, you look for this and then when you reach this, uh, it's, you, don't, you don't stop actually. It's very addictive. Yeah. Uh, Laurent, today people are able to take time for playing virtual games on their smartphone, but when it comes to burning the bulky food consumed, we all have all kinds of excuses for not indulging in physical activities. It is quite unfortunate that people don't find time to take care of their body when that should actually be the main priority. What are the benefits of exercises? Exercising has many benefits. I, I mean, I, I've never teach my clients to, to exercise to burn calories. It, it is not the, the main goal of exercising. You don't actually exercise and diet. You train mm -hmm. and you eat. You eat properly, you eat quality, uh, whole foods. Yes. Uh, but now we tend with the uh, our everyday lifestyle at the office, uh, we, we tend to look for the easy options, quick, uh, like quick and easy food, street food. Um, and uh, it's not always easy to, to s especially when you have a lot of temptation. And um, I think you have to make time for for any kind of daily activity. You, you don't find time because m when I hear some people, when, when I talk to them, they say, well, when they were in college or, or kids, they were very active playing football or any, any kind of sports. And then suddenly when they start working, they stop. I don't know why, because maybe it's a combination of many factors, the stress, the, the work time that are different. And we, we set aside the, 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 our health and we, we don't necessarily make time for, for training, mm -hmm. for any kind of daily activity. And this, and this is very, very sad because it has so many benefits in helping you, uh, well, st of course, staying in shape because yes. you, 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 of course, burn calories, you, you feel great, you, you, you have less, you're less stressed. Uh, your mental focus and mental sharpness are much improved because uh, as you exercise, there's more blood flow and oxygen flow to your brain. So you feel there's a feel good effect after yes. training. So uh, it doesn't have to be uh, excruciating, hard exercising, just in uh, just a 30 minute daily walk or rope skipping or anything you, you can you can do to just to get the, the body moving. So that's what I say. Uh, you don't necessarily have to join a gym. Even if I'm a gym owner, I, I would say, uh, honestly, you just make it as something that suits your schedule and uh, any kind of activity you like. If it's hiking on the, in the weekends with your friend or if you like training with a partner, you go to uh, the wellness parks. There are outdoor parks that are free, free. you can access any time. If you if you're really rest, like short on time, you can't. You have like hectic hours uh, of work. You can also just take 30 minutes in the morning when you wake up and and do any kind of circuit training uh, in the comfort of your of your home. Like it's all about priorities. Of course, it's only like 30 minutes is only four percent of your of your day. I mean. We, we need to find time for this. And it's also for our own benefits because it contributes a lot for the emotional well-being, like you are saying. Yes, exercising has helped many people fight depression and uh, st uh, all the stress uh, we've worked, the deadlines that you have, uh, hectic lifestyles, you're managing your kids and uh, your everything at the same time. So it's not, it's not easy, uh, but it's, it, 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 it it requires some kind of discipline, but people should think that it's not about discipline like, yes, you have to train like a professional athlete. No, it's, a, it's about uh, being consistent mm -hmm. and doing things that you like. Of course, if you're more advanced, you're looking for something more specific to your goals, you want to build muscle and, and, and get strong for a particular sport, then you should hire the, the service of like the advice from uh, professional fitness coach or trainer like myself or nutritionist to help you uh, meet your goals because you don't know necessarily what to do or how to do it or you've been doing the same thing for so many years and now you're getting bored so this is something else but for the casual person who just wants to stay healthy and, and exercise that's it 
We can also say that fitness is not only about lifting weights. You can also do yoga to stay in a good of course. shape, well toned. It's about like fitness and wellness are, are two things, two different things, but they they are they, they complement each, each other. other. And you have, as a myself, as, as a fit, uh, as a fitness coach, I I do practice a lot of yoga, meditation, so morning stretching because it sets the tone for the day. It gives my body like I feel more energetic. And I, I'm feeling loose and, and ready to, to start the day like properly. And um, and that's it. Normally, I, I like to train in the morning. But right now, continue, considering my job, I give this time to my clients. Because <laughs> like when yes. before work, uh, I give them the priority, which is, of course, uh, normal. And then I, f I find time during the day in between my meetings to, 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 of course, train myself. 45 minutes to an hour. It's... Sometimes pe people ask me how many how many hours how many yes. days you train a week. I mean, I've been training for more than ten years. Uh, it is easier for me to maintain my what I've got in terms of of uh, skills and, and and muscles and everything. But I know actually how to train, so I keep it short, focused training, forty five minutes to an hour, and then because you can't spend two or three hours uh, training, you're gonna get exhausted and you have so many things to do. So that's that's what I always say to to people. Just make it thirty minutes, forty five minutes a day. Yeah. Treadmill run if you have any equipments at home. You don't not, you don't like to go outside. Anything. You've mentioned that you've been training since ten years. How do you see yourself? Uh, do you, you feel that you've changed throughout the years, like in terms of your confidence levels, self esteem? To be honest, I started the f more fitness uh, oriented the training because I was feeling uh, my self image, my self esteem wasn't that good. Okay. I was I was practicing a lot of sports but I, I found myself very slim. I was 52 kg, uh, not, not very tall. So I, I was, there was a missing link and okay. I, I could see that in my performance there was something missing in how I can improve my, my skills and become a better athlete or, or or trainer so that's this is what brought me to be more curious about how to train properly for my for my goals and for my for, for my fitness level and of course my, my goals have changed uh, throughout the years in the beginning it was more to to get to put on more muscle now it's about having a good balance between uh, like looking good, feeling good, good mental health, and uh, all these aspects. Because if you only focus about the physical side of it, mm -hmm. you 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 will give up. You will lose yes. motivation. It, it is not the the right. It is very narrow thinking. You have so many more benefits to tr to work exercising and working out that you shouldn't only focus about getting a six pack yeah. or uh, being putting on 15 kgs of muscle. This is one thing. It, it is good. It is good to have this, these goals, but there are so many more things mm -hmm. as well. Yes, that's so true. And Laurent, making any lifestyle change can be challenging. But when we have a goal in our mind, we find something to work towards it. It creates a certain motivation to stay on track. And at the same time, it gives you a measure to how well you are doing. Different fitness goals have different approaches. What are the key principles that a beginner should take into consideration before setting a fitness goal? For every beginner setting goals for, for himself, you, you have to have a plan. You cannot go randomly and try things just like this. You have to, to work with a training program, a nutrition program, uh, to your needs uh, because random, random things will equal random results and then you're wasting your time, you will lose motivation. So you have to work through something that is well planned and uh, so that you can track your, your improvement, your progress, which is in terms of strength, uh, muscle, uh, stamina, or, any, or anything else, or just feeling better. Because uh, actually, uh, there are many goals that are mostly physical, but sometimes you understand that when you, when you are able to manage your stress easily, when you're more focused and more sharp, in, you can last a whole day without eventually craving for all kinds of, of food. And you can 
you can you know, you, you don't feel uh, slack or in low energy these are all improvement you can see that actually your body is responding yes. well because you're eating properly uh, like nutrient dense quality food and uh, that's it it gives a sense of accomplishment yes yes you can see when you see the the improvements you are always motivated that's this is why I, I, t I tell people to, to, to start like take easy steps first sometimes we want to go all in all out it's it's not the right approach you 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 have to be consistent but you, you need to think mid to long term because I'm I've started when I was 15 I'm, I'm 30 now and I, I I want to keep on doing the same things until I'm I'm 50 or 60 of course my goals will change I, I won't be that strong or, or anything else but I will still be uh, I still want to be to be healthy because your body is only is your only locomotive way yes. uh, like in your everyday life so if you don't take care of your body you will you will suffer the ramification of it at some point mm -hmm. so you you can't just wait until you're retired or 50 or 60 to actually uh, be more careful about your health it's 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 good but it's sometimes too late because you've developed so many bad habits that it's, that it's hard to change but you, uh, the earlier you start, and the, the better it the is. The better it is, yes. yeah. And Laurent, what are the exercises that you would recommend uh, someone who wants to lose weight? Actually, there's no turning or, or exercises to lose weight. You lose weight or you lose fat by eating good food in a calorie deficit, keeping very, some high-protein, high high-fiber food, uh, depends if you're if you eat everything or if you're vegan it, it, you have so many f uh, food options and uh, you can combine different type of training you have to uh, some aerobic training just running cycling rope skipping some high intensity training some intervals that you can do really fast crossfit style a bit some strength training resistance training which is lifting weight or body weight training you have to combine all of these to to develop a an, uh, complete athletic body so that you are you have a good cardiovascular system uh, you, you look tone um, you have you you decrease your body fat if this is your goals of course but you got different types of uh, training that you can combine to make so that you you don't get bored of doing always the same thing because running every day uh, it can be sometimes yes, a bit repetitive. Boring, yeah. You can you have to to mix it up a little, a little make bit. Make it more interesting. Make it more interesting so that you you keep the passion alive. Mm -hmm. That's why that's why I've 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 got this multidisciplinary background because I've always wanted to try different things because it helps me to like to change my 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 way of thinking and sometimes develop new skills because sometimes you like this this sports for for a while and then you see no you want you want to train and and try something else new exactly you yeah. something more like new and challenging and exciting for you you have to, to to make your workout exciting you cannot go and train like just because you it's a task you, that you have to do you will lose the motivation you really need to keep, as I said, you need to keep the motivation. You need to keep the motivation. Right. So if it's mixing your training, uh, your, your your training, I think it is the best option. What about gaining weight then, but in a healthy way? How can we attain that? And many people talk about bulking diet. Yes. I, I'm not a very fan of the, the term diet because I think there are more. It's better to say like nutrition guidelines or or how to eat properly. Diet is a, as a very negative or pejorative way of, of perception. Perception because it's very restrictive. Because you, it, some people think they they need to avoid some some food, some food, which is completely the opposite. Of course, there are foods that are better for you and food that you should. Yeah, you can eat because you need to 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 enjoy what you eat but less often, of course. Uh, but you need to find a balance. You need to find a balance. You uh, uh, meal prep as much as you can. Avoid always uh, buying food outside. If, if you have time, of course. Uh, you can save money, you can save time, and you're sure you don't skip meals. You, you, and you know that you're eating good food because you're, you're prepping your food. And of course, 
cooking is the best return on, on, on investment skill that you can have. Uh, I'm, I'm not a very I'm not very skillful at cooking, but with time I've tried uh, to to improve, and I find it very nice to actually try some new recipes and everything. And I'm sure everyone knows how to cook sometimes, but they don't just don't realize they they use the same thing. There there are many things that you sh many ingredients, many food that you need to avoid, like that raises your insulin, all the seeds oil that we use, uh, deep frying, uh, salt. Uh, highly sugary uh, snackings. Uh, you can, of course, uh, enjoy yourself from time to time. I I do like yeah. eating pizza or sushi or burgers. I'm very I'm a big fan, but you need to, to have a balance. So that's why I, I always tell my my clients to take one or two meals a week just to 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 enjoy. Select something that you will, that you want. If it's any kind of gathering, uh, birthday or celebration, so that you don't sit there and then and say no, I can't eat because I'm on I'm, I'm on a diet. This is the wrong way, okay? Mm -hmm. But you shouldn't you shouldn't go like all day fast mm -hmm. food and stuff. It That's won't help true. you. But what's your perception on uh, taking supplements like protein and all that? S supplement, as the name says, uh, is uh, uh, complementary to your to what you eat. It it's it, it depends if you have the, the if you have allocated a budget for it. It's not necessary. It's not compulsory to to take supplements. But if you're an athlete and you train regularly and you want to improve your recovery and you don't have you don't want to have any kind of nutrient deficiencies or vitamins, it is uh, sometimes uh, a good idea to take supplements like Multivits, Omega three, six, nine, uh, for people who train maybe some whey protein, good quality. So choose the, the brand uh, carefully. And uh, yeah, these are the basic supplements that you can start with. But don't waste your money in buying thousands of rupees of uh, supplements. Uh, and f instead, you should, you should use this money to buy good food. Go to the grocery shop and, and, and buy your, your veggies, your, your fruits, your lean meat, fish, eggs, and everything. These are the, the, the best thing that you can eat. And of course, how you how you prepare your how you cook also is a very important. We are actually drawing towards the end of this episode, but before that, Laurent, you are a fitness trainer. You are, you have also won a pageant, but what's next for you now? Well, I'm taking it like step by step. I set my goals on a business side. I wanted to have my own gym and uh, and work for myself. Uh, be an, an, an entrepreneur since long. I've managed to do this. It, was, it wasn't easy with the pandemic, and, uh, but I, I, I kept my head high and I, I'm a hard worker, so, so I always try to, to give the best of, um, of myself. And uh, we'll see. I'm taking, I see uh, the opportunities as they come and uh, always being, staying grounded and humble because I'm very grateful of everything that, that, that has happened to me. Uh, I take everything as an opportunity to, to be better. And uh, let's see, I've got a, a pageant coming uh, in a few months where I, I will be representing Mauritius uh, in, uh, in Europe. I think it's in July. So I will make, I will, I will try to, to, to be proud yes. of what I do and, uh, and bring a good results. How's the preparation going for that? It is, it is good. It is good. They, are, they have a lot of requirements. It's not only about fitness or looking good or, or catwalking in swim shorts. It's more about uh, what you do in life to help others, your purpose, your how, like, uh, how likable you are, how social you are. What, what do you do in your everyday life to, to, be, to, to help this, uh, the mm -hmm. society? So it's a combination of a lot of things. Uh, I like I like how uh, male pageantry has changed over the years. It's not only about your physical, the physical aspect of it. It's more about the all-rounded person, the personality, personality, characters. the characters. The and well, I will see how it goes, and uh, I'll give myself the, the best chances I, I have. Well, we wish you all the best. Thank you. Charles Laurent, any advice you would like to give to our youngsters to encourage them to adopt a healthy lifestyle? As I said, uh, the earlier you start, 
the better it is. Just set your, your goals. Be, be moderate. Don't always look for the most difficult things to, to start with because you won't keep the motivation for a long time. I've seen so many people wanted to, to go very like quick and uh, very hard at the beginning, but they don't last more than two or three weeks because it's too hard or, or it's not seamless into their lifestyle. It has your physical activity or anything, it has to, to, to fit your lifestyle. If you're a young mom or if you're uh, working night shift or morning shift, you need to adapt. This is the best way. You cannot force something that, that you know is not going to be sustainable. So make it something that you like. Fitness is about enjoying and discovering your, your, body's, uh, your body's abilities and, and see how far you can, you can go and what you can do. And that's great. Thank you so much, Jean Laurent. It was such a pleasure to have you Thank on you the set of One on One tonight. Dear viewers, we have now come to the end of this episode. Thank you for your time. We hope to catch you next week at the same time, same channel. Have a great evening.